Now on the tolls front. Tonight there is growing support for the plan to say yes to tolls, but only on trucks. Yeah, Governor Lamont met with legislative leaders today trying to find a compromise on a transportation plan. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff is live in Hartford at the governor's residence where today's meeting took place. Susan. Denise, the meeting with the governor and legislative leaders lasted about two hours, and when everyone came out, it seemed that they were somewhat cordial, but I'm not sure that they were any closer to a compromise. As you know, tolls have certainly created a lot of pushback, and that is going to be something going forward. Governor Lamont says New York, they certainly collect a lot of money from Connecticut drivers, as much as 40 percent of their toll revenue. And he and Democrats feel that Connecticut should do the same. And keep in mind, trucks do do a lot of the damage on our roads and bridges. Governor Lamont, as you know, however, has shifted his plan. Originally, it was for cars and trucks. Now his plan is for trucks only. However, Republicans are still stuck on tolls. Their plan doesn't include tolls, but would take a large chunk out of the rainy day fund, about one and a half billion dollars, 60 percent of it. The governor, however, feels that's not a good plan. So let's start with uh, trucks only. You don't want cars and trucks. I, I salute the uh, uh, Democrats from the House. They've come forward with a plan. It raises us uh, over $280 million. This is real money that we can do. Uh, we talked about picking different parts of everybody's plan or everybody's ideas or everybody's alternatives and making a plan that actually works for everybody. But unfortunately, they seem very much myopic in their view of having tolls. And I would ask anyone in Connecticut who's going to see grandma tomorrow or grandpa on Friday mm -hmm. or their sister and their brother in Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania, I want you to count the 18-wheelers and I want your kids to tell you where those license plates come from in those states. It's going to be Oklahoma. Nevada, everything around the country, and they will pay in every single state. While the governor and legislative meet leaders were meeting inside, those who are against tolls made it very clear that they are definitely not supporting tolls. A large group of people stood outside the governor's residence with their signs encouraging people to beep when they went by if they are against tolls. Now, we asked them what about trucks only, not just cars and trucks, and they said that they weren't sure of that idea either. They're very skeptical, saying that once tolls are up, they could be up for good and we could be facing those for many years to come and what would stop lawmakers for increasing or from increasing the fines of those tolls. So where do we go from here? Well, obviously, tolls are certainly creating a lot of drama, a lot of pushback, and given the fact that the holidays are here upon us, it doesn't seem likely that they're going to have any sort of agreement anytime soon, but we are told that they could be meeting next week. For now, we're live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.